Here we are looking at the damage here on the trim and the door. It wasn't part of the adjustment. It's pretty scratched up there. Tried to see if it would just kind of buff out or wash out. It won't. A little slight bit of a dent to it right on the door. They thought you just needed to reskin this piece, but I don't, you know, I guess we'll get a quote for that. When I go to the new dealership, here's the fender. You can see the Oh, see how you can see the tire or not. Right where the fender was bent down into the tire and in the accident you can see where you know it's the tire is got separated there the treads. And there's several pieces here where where it you know came loose there, there, or there, 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 there. But, it, but it's all it's all the way down where the, you know, the fender had gone into the treads there. So uh, it's, this tire needs to be replaced for sure. You can see here, like in the back tire, you don't have that problem anywhere. It's all it's all even. It's all solid. They thought that without having pulled the tire off, this first place to go to thought that the axle and rim looked all right, obviously, but the tire would need to be replaced. So, there's also in the adjustment, there was no, you know, for the lights and, and all this sort of pieces here, there's no, no allotment. So, the problem is, they're not sure how this is attached or welded back here, and he's afraid to use the plasma torch to get it off. And if you put that kind of high heat welding in there, the rubber on the back side of this and the inside of the trailer is going to melt, he thinks. So he's afraid to get into there. So it's kind of a, you know, he really doesn't want any part of it to the truth. So I'm gonna take it to a different place that hopefully will want to fix it for me. The other issue is these fenders have these embossed or stamped CNC logos on them. And if we replace this one with some different kind of fender, you know, some generic aluminum fender, you know, actually kind of like this one right here next to me. Yeah, you can get these just kind of these teardrop, you know, aluminum fenders, but it's not going to match the one on this side, obviously. So, yeah, you know, I, I would almost rather get two fenders so they match. You know, I hate to look like, you know, you know this is, well, you know, I'm a professional racehorse trainer. I mean, you, you know, I mean, you hate to say it, but it, image is part of the, you know, appearance of. My profession, you know, you pull up to a pull up to somebody's farm or pull up to a horse sale or you know, go meet some clients somewhere and your trailer's got different fenders on it, you know, it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence that you know how to drive very well. You know, I mean it, you gotta you know, I just I would like both fenders to match. Don't I was pregnant. Oh yeah? <laughs> I took her over to the clinic.